monster hunting is coming to Star Citizen. During the game's yearly convention, Citizen Con, it was announced that soon you'll be able to hunt giant worms that they hinted at being in the game way back at the Citizen Con from 2016. The first iteration of this gameplay features the mighty Apex Valakar, which you'll eventually find on Monox in Pyro. This absolute monster of a creature is 300 meters long. And much like Shia Lude, you'll need to be on the ground to draw it out of hiding. While you might think it might be a good idea to try and solo this massive apex predator, it was mentioned in the presentation that the Valakar would take as much damage as 150 Aegis Titan ships. Unfortunately, the Valakar stats don't really fit on the screen due to being so powerful. But for some context, it's around 150 times harder to kill than an Aegis Avenger Titan. So remember, it's dangerous to go alone. In fact, you'll need both ground and air vehicles, so have a large squad ready when you squad up. Keep in mind, it has multiple ways to defend itself. The deadly Valakar has a variety of ways of killing possible threats. It can spit sand, slam the ground, and swipe with its body. After taking enough damage, it burrows underground to prepare for the next wave. If you're curious about how you know its damage state, they'll be implementing battle scarring all over its body so you know just how close you are to finishing it off. We know how much of a large fight the Apex Valakar is, and we need to communicate that in a diegetic way. You'll see its skin getting more battered and bruised as the fight progresses. There are also multiple sizes. In addition to the Apex at 300 meters long, the Juvenile sits at 5 meters and the Adult at 15. This also adds to various gameplay loops, as the Juvenile is expected to live near mineral deposits, take out enough of them while you're mining, and the Adult will show up to defend them. That's my son! Why would you go in to find it at all? Obviously, loot. Currently, there are two major resources you can get from it. Precious pearls you'll need a mining tool to extract and Valakar teeth, both of which require a max lift tractor beam and will be used in the upcoming crafting mechanic. Not to be done there, they also mentioned that the Valakar will have variants native to different biomes, showcasing concept art of both the jungle and cave variants. These are the kind of questions that make sci-fi one of the best mediums. They ended the presentation showcasing early concept art of a series of creatures that they're working on to flesh out the fauna of the verse. Considering they said the gameplay from the presentation was from a build that as of the day of the presentation was last week, that was from a build last week. We have some good polishing to do on it, and we didn't want to hold it off. We just wanted to give you an honest view of where we are. I'm guessing the Valakar may be coming to the verse sooner than we might think. But as always, expect to see it when it's much closer to done, even though they're on track to drop Pyro to the live servers by the end of 2024. Are you excited to hunt Apex Predators in Star Citizen? Drop a comment with what you're going to do with all the pearls, teeth, and UEC you'll be earning while taking down this massive Predator. If you enjoyed this look at monster hunting, like and subscribe for more.